Welcome to Cinta Statistics and Data Science. Today we are going to solve this problem from IIT JAM MS year 2022. The problem is on your screen. A year is chosen at random from the set of years. This following set, which is 2012, 2013 up to 2021. This set contains 10 years in total. From the chosen year, a month is chosen at random. And from the chosen month, a day is chosen at random. Given that the chosen day is the 29th of a month, the conditional probability that the chosen month is February equals the four options are given. So what are we going to do? First, we are going to define the variables. So let Y denote the year, M denotes the month, and D denotes the day. These three are random variables. Now, clearly, we can see that y actually follows discrete uniform over this set because y denotes the year. It is given that the year is chosen at random from this set. So obviously, it follows our discrete uniform, right? Now, after the year has been chosen, the month is chosen from that given year. So that means the distribution of m given y equals to y follows discrete uniform over this set 1, 2, up to 12. These, these numbers 1, 2, 3, this denotes the number of the month number. That means 1 denotes January. 2 denotes February, 3 denotes March, and so on. 12 denotes December. Similarly, after the year and the month has been chosen, the day is chosen from that particular month of that particular year, right? So D, given M equals to M and Y equals to Y, follows uniform 1, 2, 3, up to K. Now, this K actually depends on M and Y. Why? Because it depends on the month and the year so that we have a total of how many days? It, it depends, right? For example, suppose that y is equal to 2012 and m is equal to 2. That means the month of February in the year 2012. In that month, we have a total of 29 days because 2012, 2012 is a leap year, right? So in that leap year, the February, the month of February has in total 29 days. In that case, d given m equals to 2 and y equals to 2012 follows discrete uniform over 1, 2, up to 29. But if, for example, y is 2014 and m is 4, that means the month of April from the year 2014, here the number of days in that particular month is 30 days, right? So that means d given m and y follows uniform over 1 to 30. So it depends. That means this k is actually depends on the values of m and y, clearly. Now, now m and y are actually independent random variables. First of all, you can actually very intuitively understand that m and y are supposed to be independent right because y is chosen first at random from this set and given that the year is chosen the month is chosen but since each of the years contains exactly the same number of months it doesn't matter that what year is chosen the, the information that the particular year has been chosen doesn't give us any new information about the choosing of the month so in that case m and y are independent right intuitively but you can also prove it rigorously. It's nothing difficult. It's probability m equals to m given y equals to y is 1 by 12. That means the conditional PMF of m given y is given. We already know that. This is nothing but this one. This one. So what is the PMF of just m, the random variable m? It's nothing but summation y running from 2012 up to 2021. It's PMF of the, the conditional PMF of m given y times the marginal PMF of y. So it's 1 by 12. That means that PMF, the marginal PMF of M is actually the same as the conditional PMF of M given Y. That means M and Y are actually independent, right? Clearly. Now, we want to find out that probability M equals to 2 given D equals 29. You can just go back to the question and see that given that the day is 29th of a month, what is the probability that the month is February? That means what is the probability? that m is equal to 2, that means the month is February, given that d is equal to 29, that the day is 29. By Bayes theorem, this is nothing but probability of d equals 29, given m equals 2, times probability m equals 2, divided by probability d equals 29. This is not, nothing but the Bayes theorem. We are just flipping the conditional, right? a given b, we are just kind of flipping out. Now we individually have to find out this one, this one, and this one. So. For first one, the probability p, p of m is equal to it's easy. It's 1 by 12. It's very easy. Now, for this one, this this part, this part, probability of 
d equals 29 given m equals to 2 is actually we don't know the year so it's actually have to be a law of total probability so we are summing up over all the y's so it's probability of d equals 29 given m equals to 2 y equals to y times probability y equals to y right we're just taking the conditional probability of the all the you know the weighted average of the conditional probabilities is the law of total probability we are just taking the y y's as the partitions because obviously y has to be something from 2012 2013 up to 2021 so obviously it will take one of the values so we are just partitioning the sample space and using the law of total probability so this part is clearly 1 by 10 right we know that this is 1 by 10 so it just comes out of the sum and the summation over y now think about this this is actually nothing but for individual y's y runs from 2012 2013 2014 up to 2021 now the month is fixed it's february and the day is 29 so just imagine obviously in general a non leap year has only 28 days in the february right in the month of february but a leap year has 29 days so obviously if y is a non leap year say 2013 2014 2015 right in that case the probability is clearly zero because what is the probability of there are being the day chosen days 29th of february of a non leap year it's zero that means but we only have three leap years in this particular set it's we have only three leap years you can see here i've written the leap years are 2012 2016 and 2020 right only three leap years out of these 10 years so in that case we have that only three times one by 29 so one by 29 for 2012 for 2016 and for 2020 so that ultimately it becomes 3 by 290 you can just write it down if you are having a problem you can just explicitly write it down for every year from 2012 2013 and you can easily see that if it is a non leap year then the probability is zero and if it's a leap year, its probability is 1 by 20 and obviously because after the month and year has been chosen the given that the day is uh, the what is the probability of the day being 29th day it's there are 29 possibilities and each of them are equally likely so 1 by 29 each of them so we have figured out these two so we have figured out this one and this one we have fig figured out now the last one this probability of d equals 29 now again we're just using the idea of law of total probability here we are actually conditioning on both m and y because we don't know the m and the y so summation over y and summation over m probability d equals 29 given m equals to m y equals to y times probability m equals to m and y equals to y now this part can be splitted out because m and y are independent so this actually probability m equals to m times probability y equals to y now this part is obviously 1 by 12 and this part is obviously 1 by 10 so again this part comes out as 1 by 120 and the remaining part is summation over y summation over m probability d equals to 29 given m equals to m and y equals to y now first of all i have actually done this uh, i did this in this i have first broken down the years so this part this entire part is for y equals to 2012 this part is y equals to 2013 and this part is y equals to 2021 individually these are further the further can be splitted or as sums right there are 12 terms in this particular sum again there are 12 terms in this particular sum and so on in total there are 120 sums but i have just for y equals to 2012 it's this one the summation is of the form this for y equals 2013 the summation is of the form this and so on now you only need to know only one of them if you know how to figure out the value of the one of them you can do the others i've already stated that the leap years are 2012 2016 and 2020 right the leap years are this and every year actually contains seven months with 31 days four months with 30 days and one month that is the month of february is 28 or 29 days depending on if it's a not a leap year or a leap year if it's not a leap year then it's 28 days if it is a leap year then it's 29 days right so suppose that we are just doing this particular sum, just this one if you can understand this one the remaining ones are just the similar ones so so i just split it out the i've explicitly written the sum so d equals 20 and given m equals to 1 and y is 2012 again m equals to 2 y m equals to and and so on this this particular one and uh, this one will be 1 by 12 this is 12 now now think about it the given that the month is january and the year is 20 2012 
what is the probability that the day is 29? It's 1 by 31 because the month of January has 31 days, right? So it's 1 by 31, right? This one, first one. Second, it's 29 days. There are 29 days in February of 2012 because it's a leap year. So 1 by 29. Again, 1 by 31 for March. Again, 1 by 30 for April and so on. Just after doing all these calculations, you will get that there are seven months in total of 1 by 31. There are seven terms of the same 1 by 31 and four of 1 by 30 and 1 by 21 because there is exactly one month having 29 days. So in total, the probability is this, right? In fact, in fact, this the sum, this entire sum will actually have the form this if it's a leap year and this one if it's a non-leap year. So you can understand this particular sums for the for example for this since 2012 is a leap year that means the sum this this particular sum the entire value will be this one this one and if it's a non-leap year for example 2013 is a long leap year for this one it will be this one so you can understand ultimately the value will be something like this since there are three leap years and seven non-leap years so three times this one and seven times this one so after doing all the calculations, we have this particular thing, which is 9965 by 12 times 29 times 30 times 31, right? Now, coming back to the original problem, we want to find the value of this probability, which is not, so we already know this one is 3 by 290. This is 1 by 12 from the previous calculations and this one here. So ultimately, the answer comes down to 279 by 9965. That means option a is the correct answer so there you have it the problem is solved completely see you next time